So we're here to talk through the star battle, and as the constructor of the puzzle, I'll probably make it look much easier than it actually was. Um, one thing to notice, while there are nine uh, regions that make up the star face, as we're calling it, the, the sort of regions outside of the face are key ones to start with. On the right side, a thing to notice is that these two regions collectively just have uh, two spots that can take an extra star. So here and here, and that means that one, two stars fill up this column, and these two stars fill up these spots. That's a little trickier than what you can actually see on the left. On the left, the whole first column is taken up by this region, so the two stars have to be in that column. Can't be in these extra cells, but that's how the outside of the star face starts. And then the next thing to notice quickly is that this next region now also has the only cells remaining in column two. And so all cells that aren't in column two for that region are not usable. You should quickly see that the bottom of the grid has now been pretty much emptied. If we actually have to place a total of four stars in these spaces, we actually see there are only seven columns in total. Um, these five can take one, two, three stars at most and one star here. There's a crowding argument that gets you to this placement. And uh, next observation after doing this, which will really break open the puzzle, is to think about how we fill in this second column from the right. In this case, this region has the ability to take one more star. There's a star here, so there's the most one more in this space and there's one more that's coming from the top region. And I normally don't denote this because it's kind of a silly group to draw, but I'll draw it in for the sake of this video. If a star is somewhere in these cells, just as we've done elsewhere, everything else in that region is no longer a star. And following that through, You'll see what we've now done. We start from the left, cleared out regions, cleared out the bottom. We've now cleared out the top. The top now again needs to get four stars. It's gonna to need to have two stars here. Last star up here. That's the four total stars up top. We'll put in the cells that are eliminated because of doing this. These are forced upwards. This region has its two stars placed, so everything else in it clears out. The left eye has an easy star and another placement, which will be one of these two cells. Uh, I think the next thing to do, I actually missed this at the start, but it's one, one of the few regions in the grid that has some key constraints is the right part of the smile it has five total cells. The middle one can't be used, so the two stars are in these cells, and doing that you can force the bottom completely. We're going to mark off cells that are not usable around these stars that we've half marked. We're going to get to see that this column here, the third from the right, has two stars in it. So we get most of the right eyeball cleared. We have one, two, three, four stars marked in these two columns. So we're going to clear out the remaining ones. Uh, one, two, three, four. There's going to be a fifth star here. We don't know enough to place something over here, but looking back to the left, this third column has just one more space left for its second star. So we'll mark that. It's going to get its second star here, which eliminates this cell. I guess that was also eliminated the start by the shading. We now have two spaces that can take stars. Again, there's only one that can go here, a star up here. Versus a star here, versus a star here, versus a star here. This fourth column has one space left for another star. This row is finished. We got one, two stars in the nose. This region has one empty cell left for its last star. That forces this star here, forces a star here, forces a star here. Looking across these, both are placed, so the second star in this row is going to go there. We've got two stars up top, so last star for this region is there. 
Um, got to finish the nose. This star pushes one to the right and the remaining star to the left. And with two stars in this column, got one star over there. So we got through it pretty quickly in this video. The main thing to, to see, and this was part of the whole construction theme, was how the use of full columns would clear out empty cells that starts on the left side, particularly swathing up all of this bottom piece which then sets up some cells here, sets up a limitation in this large region that gets all the way to the top of the head, that clears out the top of the head, that places stars here and gets you into the middle of the face. And you may have been tempted to start because the eyes look small or the nose looks small to focus there, but it's really the exterior and uh, limitations on using full columns that really drive this puzzle. So I hope you enjoyed the solve, at least learned something from the video and how I was hand constructing this star battle to uh, break apart. And we'll see you again soon.